Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back to some more EVE Online. In today's video we are taking a look at a new ship that I bought. It's I think one of the best frigates in the game, just like the Gila is probably the best cruiser in the game at the moment. This is the Worm, it is the mini Gila and it is basically yeah the ship that, uh, that I want to test a little bit in this video. The reason for that is of course EVE Vegas where CCP has announced that uh, there is going to be abyssal dead space uh, that uh, will be for fleets up to three players in frigates and of course the presumably best frigate for that is going to be something like this worm so let's test it out we are heading to a Saint Chaten. this is obviously if uh, I can press the warp 2 button there we go that's better um, so we're heading for a Saint Chaten. I'm testing this ship out in some anomalies obviously it's not an exploration ship like the Gila which has that free high slot 4D probe launcher so this is something that I've specifically built in order to try and get into some fleets and then into abyssal dead space once that is available I basically think that if you have a worm like this anyone will uh, be willing to take you with them on such a trip so here we go let's take a look at performance what we're going to do we'll just uh, orbit that at 10 kilometers then we'll get some drones out we'll start targeting and uh, we will send our drones on these batteries at first because these batteries do have a lot of lots of HP so you can take a look at the drone damage one volley both drones shields almost gone and this is the missile damage um, it's it's pretty damn good this this does feel like you are flying a very small very fast very nimble Gila here and uh, it is cap stable as well so I can keep going at speed and I can also uh, just keep the uh, the shield rep going indefinitely and so that's the first heavy missile battery down I'm going to send these guys on the second missile battery just to take that DPS off and then we are using our missiles at the moment to take on these frigates and destroyers from as is usually the case Sasha's nation of course by the way Sasha also going to be the enemies for project Nova if you watch any uh, E Vegas you might know that I mean very reminiscent of the Borg in uh, in the concept art that we've seen there. Uh, but yeah, the Sasha will be back as a target for Nova, it seems. Hopefully I can get into the Alpha and uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys some footage as well. Now let's send these Federation Navy of Goblins, so not the most expensive and not the best damage on one of these destroyers. And as you can tell here, pretty damn good damage and application. Two volleys and it is gone. Next up, we've got the Centaur Horror. We'll do that again. One shot, almost gone. Second shot, there they go. Uh, after this, we do get a couple of cruisers. So that does become a better test of our potential DPS here. But yeah, this is once again... Uh, one of those ships that is going to become the choice I think uh, for that specific content that abyssal content just like the Gila at the moment is the choice for abyssal dead space runs uh, the solo runs in cruisers of course so let's just keep going at the moment and then eventually if you ever get into the battleship of course the rattlesnake is also absolutely an incredible ship uh, for that type of content as well for PvE content just like this so we are if I can combine all the weapon systems you can see that I'm also melting these cruisers this ship can probably pretty easily handle a 3 out of 10 and might even be able to handle a 4 out of 10 as it's built now but as I've said that's really not the aim or the job for this ship uh, because uh, it does have that high slot. I would need to probe with another ship, which doesn't make too much sense. But it is doing absolutely great. So we are still going. And then I want to continue to talk a little bit about that potential Abyssal Dead Space Fleet content that is heading our way this winter. And I'll try to get into that. I might even try to organize a couple of fleets, like maybe once a week or something like that, uh, with some of you guys, if anyone is interested. Uh, the way I'm seeing this at the moment would be... Uh, that um, you know I just give you guys an hour we'll come here in detail we'll launch those sites in three frigates and we'll try to to have some fun that way perhaps it'll work out now, I must also say I'm making no promises on that front because there is a lot of stuff coming 
with potentially, as I've said, Nova Alpha uh, coming next month as well with uh, Fallout 76, with uh, X4. There's really a lot of stuff uh, that is uh, on my radar at the moment. So will I be able to manage something like that? I'm not exactly sure, which brings me to something else that uh, uh, we saw at Vegas, of course, that CCP is going to continue and try to revamp uh, the agency. And uh, a part of that, not at the first iteration, but later on next year, is to add a sort of a fleet finder to the agency. And uh, honestly, I'm, I'm sort of hoping for that myself and kind of waiting for that myself. Because I'm mostly a solo player. I'm, I'm playing mostly just to have fun, to relax. I'm not here to get myself into high stress situations or to... Um, do a lot of work in order to get content uh, in the game, such as trying to organize fleets in EVE Online. It's a little bit like trying to organize dungeons or raids in another MMO. Uh, as you guys know in online games, that's always hurting cats. There's always people that are late, people that complain, people that have problems with their uh, voice comms, with their connections. It's always so unpredictable and it can actually in my opinion uh, be quite a drain of energy that uh, i'm hoping that the agency will become the answer for me where for instance i can say all right fleet abyssal dead space open up the agency um, who is uh, running fleets for that pretty nearby apply join get started on the fun uh, that that would be my dream and then expand that to other types of content as well perhaps make some sort of exploration sites that are more viable for groups and uh, try to have um, yeah just like sort of an easier time with public fleets with bringing players together uh, when they want to do the same types of activities and uh, yeah just to try to have fun that way and basically the first ones where i say i might want to try to uh, to do that as well um, because it is affordable small scale enough uh, that i think it could be fun to do would be that group abyssal dead space content that would be in a frigate and for me that would be three worms why do i think that the worm is such a good choice for that well it's basically gonna be amongst the highest dps that you can get out of a frigate so uh, that makes a lot of sense. We've also seen, uh, if you saw it at eVegas with the uh, presentation from CCP Rise, that basically more DPS is the key to success in Abyssal Dead Space at the moment. And uh, I see very little reason to expect that to be different when it comes to having three frigates in a Dead Space pocket. Sure, some tank is of course needed, uh, but pushing the DPS is usually what will guarantee faster clear times, less incoming damage and thus higher uh, finishing rates. Uh, we'll, we'll end up the video here with this Let's orbit that at like 7,500 with this refuge as well. Uh, why? It's even smaller targets and that can be a good test for my uh, little drones here. So we're going to... Yep, there you go. They're already going after the turn. Blap, they just one shot them. This is, this is indeed going to be, I think, the ship to choose for that type of dead space content. You may also be wondering at this point... Why is he just showing the ship off on TQ and not doing some of that fleet abyssal uh, content on CC? Um, the reason is that, if I'm not mistaken, at the moment what's up and running is just the regular sites. And so they're still developing and deciding and trying to balance out the actual sites, the actual content that they'll put out in, abyss in abyssal space uh, for a uh, three frigate fleet. So I don't want to um, show like uh, either super difficult or super easy content when uh, it is very likely to still change substantially uh, by the time we get our hands on it. And there we go. That one goes down. We've got another one. Let's hope for a true Sansha. That would be a very fitting end to this video to get some loot but yeah here just like with the Gila this is the pocket Gila the mini Gila um, incredible application very strong damage and then that shield tank that is is very difficult to beat as well um, this is just such a strong PvE ship that it will undoubtedly become the weapon of choice in Abyssal Dead Space once we can get in there with frigate fleets and I'm gonna finish this side guys but that's the worm 
and if you guys have any other uh, ideas for ships that you will probably be flying in that new content that is coming this winter definitely put that in the comments i am open to other interesting suggestions i myself am looking for uh, a cool strong frigate uh, with uh, some uh, high slots so that you can get a spider tank going anyways that's it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and as always i'll see you next time